Um, hello guys. Uh, welcome to our news API application using uh, Python Flask. Uh, here is a demo of what uh, we will be building. So guys, this is a brief overview of the app. Um, this is the navbar that I created. I have a, now a news article. This is my title. These are some of the sources. And this is the title that I sent out the hot news title. Um, and yeah, these are the requests that I made. As you can see, I I, I put them. Uh, I put all everything in a card. As you can see there is a card around everything. And uh, yeah, this is the title, the contents, and the this is the image, and this is how the time that it was published at. It's just very simple. Yeah, okay, on the side of the code, here I have, um, have a specific abstracture that will be, it will be that, I, that you have this kind of abstracture. Um, I, I have an app I've created. Uh, so I have a root folder, I've named it BBC. And then, um, let me close this. Um, in the in the root folder now i've created a folder called app an instance folder then for virtual environment git ignore config.py file managed by a proc file for deployment uh, readme and the requirements.txt file so inside the app uh, i have a folder called main i have a static folder templates folder an init.py file, a models py, a models file, and a request file. Yeah, and then um, that's it. Uh, inside now, inside the main of the app, I have um, an init fold, init file, an error.py file, a views.py file. That's in the main of the app. Then in the static here you can put uh, CSS, uh, also JavaScript, and um, the templates here I have created a base.html, uh, index, macro, and now uh, news.html templates. Yeah, I guess that's it. So we'll start now. Um, we are going to start by going to uh, you can just search and use dot api so basically here we, this is how we get our api key you come to news api news api this news api dot org you just log in or create an account if you have none and um, after that you just uh, log in and then you get your API key. So this is the API key which you're going to use. So after that, um, I'm going to show you the documentation. Let me see. So I'll go back home here. I want to show you the documentation. So how we are getting everything. So in case you want to get the sources, the sources is just the same way as the articles. So I'll come here, top headlines. So as you can see at the bottom here, so this is how you get the API. You can just run, you see this, you can just this, you can just the, this the whole thing and run it on your browser and see the list of, the, of what is in the API. So this is how you make a request to the API. So this is the article that I was talking about. So inside the article, this is, as you can see, it's an array. Um, so in our articles, we have an author, we have a title. This is what we wrote in the model, so as you can remember. The author, the title, the description, the URL. And yeah, that's basically it. So that's for the top headlines. You also you can use perhaps you can use maybe sources. Let's see what we have in the sources. OK, 
Okay, so over the sources you can see it's an array. We have uh, an ID which is a ABC news. We have the name of the news. So you can just read this ones in the models. We have the description, we have the URL, we have the category of the language, and we have the country. And then we have another endpoint here. Okay, so so here we have the articles array. We have a author, we have a title, we have a description, and uh, we have a URL. We have a URL to image. Sorry, we have a URL. We have URL to image. We have the time that the information was published and the content. Just write all these titles here in your models and uh, you'll be good to go. So I want to show you. Um, hello guys. <coughs> now to talk now about how the uh, <coughs> app works. So okay, I'll start here. I have an app folder. So in my app folder I have uh, I have a main folder. In main folder, I have an init.py file. So in the init.py file, I have a uh, import from Flask import this blueprint, which are going to use it. And main is equals blueprint, and then import views. And then I have an um, errors. I have not error.py, which is supposed to have a, a 404 type of error here. But I have not written it, so I have a views. So in my views, I have imported from Flask, I imported a render template. Then for dot, I've imported the main, the blueprint in the main. Uh, okay, so I've also from my requests, I have a request to my file here. I've imported my function for getting the news. Okay, I also have a route here, so. Uh, route main route. This, I'm right. I'm using main here because of this is what I'm using here. So I've created a function dev index. So I've created uh, this one news is equals to get news. Also title is equals to get news. Um, uh -huh. So I'm returning the render template the index.html. So title is equals to title the title that is here. And then I'm saying articles is what I'm going to render in my HTML file is equals to the news, which is here. Yeah, so after that, I, start, I have nothing in the static the template. So in the template, I have a page.html. And then let me scroll up. Um, so here's where we have our doc files. So our base, the base helps us not. Uh, to repeat ourselves like writing the doc files so here i've imported bootstrap as you can see the links for the bootstrap bootstrap 5 is what i've imported is what i've been i'm using and also i've created so there is a, a title here okay this is like a block title so if i if if title is title what news then the title else if there is no title uh, my just my title will be just welcome to the hot news and and my if statement. Also, I have um, a block number. So this I have my number dot html here. So I'm rendering it here. So it will show in every page. So block number and number dot html which is here. So and also I have a block content. This is where I'm going to write my content in the indexes. Uh, so we put the script file from for the this is from the bootstrap yeah that's the end of the the html uh, the index so in the first i import the the base.html so instead of writing all this code the doc type and uh, let me see am i sorry instead of writing base instead of writing all these uh, doc types here I just write it in one file, the base.html, and in the index, I just extend it here. So it will just appear. It will just be there. And then start with the block content. So this is my first class. So I start with a bootstrap class, uh, h1 class. I align my 
my h1 to the center is a bootstrap styling and now i use a for loop now to acquire my api so i think um let me let me start first with the api so that you guys can see mm -hmm. so i'll go to my request.py file so the first i show you before get i show you how i got the api so i first imported from url i, I dot request json then from my model i imported the news so let me show you my models i've created the models for the news um so here's my model i've created my class news so this is where i'm saying so from dot models here i've imported these news and these are the models the description they are to email the contact publish that yeah so where are we i was in the request so so i set the bi key to none the base url to none and then i say a def configure request up so api key i set it like this base url like that so now i create a function this is a function now to get the news now so getting the news url base url dot format the api key which i have my api key in my instance instance folder instance folder i have a config uh, this is my api key so i just come here at my request and say so so i've said you see this one api key is equal to news api key this is what is rendered and then i take this now the api key I come and put it uh, here so with url lib get news url get news data url dot read it's just the process of it and then i uh, come and say if i uh, if then if get news responses articles which i will show you in a bit uh news real if news result is equal to get news response articles so there is an article uh it's an array in the news api which i'm going to show you in a bit so i will process my results that i've gotten from my api so uh, i return the news list here so in the news the news result will be in an array so i say the in a dictionary in python so for news in item for news item in news list title is because this yeah so that is different if you, definitely it then, then news object equals to news title description url to image the content published at now i append my news result my news object and then i return the news result list so um what i've gotten here i come here back to my templates from 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 my request come back to my templates my index in my index i just come and say so for article in articles so i say i give it this this is like a card i've made it like this so it's a card so this is where we start uh, requesting the images i just say just do interpolation like this the two calibrations article that you are to image uh, so article, if you want the title just write article dot title article dot, dot description and here article dot content so that is how you now you request it in your index.html file my micros have not have not used anything so this is my number just a typical just a simple number um okay my news my new to html actually i've not used this i've not created the sources i just wrote it uh, so you may you may exclude this and for the for the time being so out of my main that is was that was my main folder so in so in the instant i showed you i is where i've put my pi key uh, this is my virtual environment uh in my you know, I've put my virtual environment python files and instance i don't want to send these ones to my github so in my config file 
have imported my the OS. I created a class config where I pass the API key and the news base URL and the, and the news API key. Uh, also, I've created another class for production and the wrote a path and a class dev config for development and set my debug to true then config options development and the production now in my main.py file so I've for my app I've imported create app from flash script so make sure to import all of these the flash script manage so from flash script I've imported manage file server and then app is equals to create app development uh, manage manage dot r this is I'm going to use the server to run and then I just return it like this so this is my profile this will be used for deployment to Heroku so actually let me show you my requirements all the requirements that I've used so this is everything that I have used so if you want to install my requirement you can just so it's just you can just write in your terminal if you have if you have taken my requirements and you have it them in your requirement or text you can just write pip install let me, let me comment it yeah so pip install minus r requirements dot txt so these are my, you will install all the files that you have in your requirements yeah uh, that's it let me see if, if there's something that i've left out i've talked about the in the app the main um templates all these are the templates that i have uh it uh Oh, sorry, sorry, I did not show you the my init.py file. So, from my init.py file, I imported from Flask. I imported Flask. I imported Flask Bootstrap. Then, from the from config, my config file, I imported the config options. Let me show you the config options that I'm putting. These are the config options. And then, uh, I just rendered the Bootstrap like this. I write dev create app. Then this just write like this. Then you initial initialize your bootstrap, and then you register your blueprint like this from dot main import main blueprint. Let me show you the blueprint here. Main in dot by file. So this is the blueprint that you are putting here. Now initializing, I mean. So you register that blueprint, and then you you set the config from dot request import config requests and then yeah you just return the app that's it also had a models file so the models file this is where you write uh, all the, 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 the information that you get from your API so I created a class news uh, if you need uh, and then initialize yourself so in the API we have a title description URL content so this is the information that I want to publish or to request from the API so self the title is equal to title self the description like that this is, this is just how you write your models for the new API key. Um, I've talked about the requests uh, I think I'm done with this let me see yeah